Hello, it is Monday, new week of cooking. I wasn't really going to do this because I know I did something similar before, but I am using Posca Cabasa this time to make breakfast burritos. Using that and some hash brown patties that I'm going to fry. This is one of my daughter's favorite meals. And then I have tortillas, of course, to make the burritos. So that's dinner tonight. I think I'm going to saute some bell peppers all three of these so i can add them to my burrito if they want bell pepper in there as they can have it so i'm putting vegetables into this okay i'm gonna get this started okay so i added some oil into my pan and now i'm going to add some hash browns so i'm gonna let these fry them and i'm gonna add the meat to it this dinner shouldn't take too long of course we're gonna get the cheese out that's in the fridge. Because I do need to add cheese to this. You can't have burritos without cheese, really, unless you don't like cheese, but. Two, three, four, six. Wow, one, seven. Okay, so I'm trying to find different spots to be putting my, um, as I'm recording, because I don't want to just show my mouth, like I get too close and like I see it's my mouth. <laughs> okay, so I'm working on it. I need to get a better thing. So, yeah, I keep saying that, but. Okay, so the hash browns are almost done. I'm using this butter flavored in my pan for my bell peppers. So, I'm not using that much butter. And plus, you know, I has grace in it too, the hash browns and the meat, you know. It's gonna be greasy, so. I'm gonna go ahead and add the meat because the hash browns are pretty much done. So I'm just gonna add the meat onto one side. This kambasa meat, I got it from Grocery Outlet. It was on sale, I think it was like two, four, five dollars or something like that. About two fifty, which wasn't bad for that. But I bought two before. My cheese came from Food Max, and my tortillas were still from Costco. Um, so I still have that left. It's one more pack. Going through it now. And the bell peppers, these, I didn't do a video on it, but this week, but I went to the farmer's market and got these, and there was a whole big bag full of these for four dollars, so pretty good price. So, yeah, okay, drop and stuff. All right, so this is gonna fry together, and of course, it's gonna saute. Let me just add, I'm cooking the meat first before I stir it all together. So, the meat's cooking on one side, and it has browns over on the other side, so the meat is frying, so it gets all the juices and stuff. So, yeah. Okay, so all the meat is cooked. It's all done, so I'm just gonna mix it. And now it comes up into the meat all together for a few minutes so they can work the flavor things together. And I'm gonna start with the cookies. I'm just gonna warm up in the microwave. And then my bell peppers are done. So started. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It's all done. Just gonna put it in our in the tortilla. Okay, this is all done. Put my bell peppers in there. And... <laughs> Never really had purple bell pepper and white bell pepper. So it was new to me, but it's good. I mean, I had red and I had um, orange and the bright yellow ones, but never the light. It's kind of white. They're very light yellow, but they're good. Okay. See you tomorrow. Tomorrow is tuna patties. Tomorrow's Tuesday. Bye. Hello. It is Wednesday. I unfortunately didn't make a video yesterday. My father had an appointment there on late and then 
my son had some money and he ordered a pizza. So we had pizza and I was like, okay, so making my tuna patties tonight. Okay, so let's start with, of course, I got two cans of tuna. I got some mayonnaise that I will need for the recipe. I will need some black, well, it didn't say black pepper, but I'm gonna add black pepper a little bit, some salt, that's what it said. It said fresh parsley, but I didn't have fresh parsley. I'm gonna use parsley flakes and some kind of hot sauce. So I'm using this one, and of course I need to fry my patties with some oil. I got eggs, just calls for one, but I think I might use two because I'm using two cans, but we'll see. I'm gonna chop up some onion, put some onion in that, and then I have a lemon. It said to zest it, so I'm gonna use some of that, and then the juice from the lemon. Plus, I have a couple lemons that we can squeeze on it afterwards. So I'm gonna I'm gonna make some rice with this on the side. I think I'm making yellow rice on the side, and then as another side, we're gonna have a can of peas, and that's for dinner tonight. So get this started. I also forgot I was supposed to use breadcrumbs, but I have breadcrumbs, so I'm going to use some leftover Ritz crackers we have, so get rid of them. So, get these up. Okay, I have my rice going. I am going to use some of this bobaloni chicken stuff here. It, the rice it has some of this flavor on it, right? It's one of, the, one of those packaged rice. Comes in a yellow container, little bag. But it always seems like it needs a little bit more. So, on that, put the rice to the side so I can start cooking. I can cut everything else. Let me see if I can move you around a little bit so you can see better. Okay, so now I started off, I got the tuna drained open in here. My cats seem to think that it's time to eat again because they think it's their wet food. They heard the can being open and they smell the tuna and they think it's time to eat again. So they're staring at me over here. <laughs> so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some mayonnaise. I'm just going by memory and I'm kind of just guessing here. Um, so it was about a cup of mayonnaise, and I'm going to mix it up, and we're going to add the egg. Here's my egg. I have my storage almost cleared out, and I still cannot find uh, my phone thing. Or call it. I don't know why I can't remember the lot for the life of me. Tripod, whatever you call it. I don't know what to call it. That that we I didn't think I threw it away when we moved here when I moved out of town, but can't find it. Okay. I'm going to pause for a minute and be right back. Okay, I'm crying. Onions make me cry all the time. <laughs> so, I'm just kidding. I added the onion. So, I'm mixing that up. I'm not adding too much money, but I am adding some crackers. So, that should definitely make it more. Thickens up. Plus, I have to add the seasonings. I usually, I got the canned tuna free. I can't remember if I got from my father, my mother, or the baby. It's like one of those three places where I usually always get free, so I don't have to buy tuna. I actually do not have tuna in my pantry now. This is the last of it. So either if I see it at the food bank Friday when I'm volunteering, I'll grab some, or I'm pretty sure I'll get some again for my parents. They get commodities where they live. Both of them live at a senior apartment. My dad, my father lives one here in town, my mom lives 
one an hour and a half away from here, so. And they're always giving me stuff because they won't eat it. Which is fine. Add it to my pantry, you know. So yeah, it's thickening up. I think I'm gonna add more. I think I'm gonna add the whole thing. Just because. Yeah. Now it's thick. Okay. Looking good. Looks like this. Hope the light in here is okay because I just I don't know why I put the kitchen light on yet because like it, I have this thing where it's sunlight I want to use the sunlight. Put some parsley and I'm gonna add some pepper. Oh lord, is this thing not even open yet? Oh lord, it's not even open yet. I have one. I'll be right back. I didn't want to open that right now. <laughs> Do all that. So I have this one that was on the table over there. Get some salt. And then some hot sauce. Stir that up. is actually looking pretty good. It's not gonna be like the last mishap when I made try to make um, crab patties. <laughs> okay, my kids are not big on tuna though, so I'm not sure if they're gonna like it or not. I'm just zesting my lemon. It's kind of a challenge because I'm just gonna do it like this real quick. Squeeze the rest of the lemon into there. Get a mix, mix. Yeah, I'm gonna start heating up my oil so I can make these into patties. And start cooking. Okay, so this is what they look like. I made seven of them. That's what I was able to get out of it. Just down a little bit. In there. It's in a mess. How these turn out. This is what they look like. Um, I have my fan on. You probably hear it a little bit because they recommend when you're using a gas stove to have your fan on. One day my stove got kicked on for somehow. I don't know if it was with my cat. I was smelling gas and um, my burners were on and they're probably on for like 20 minutes so not good i'm getting some knobs to put knob lockers knob locks that you know you would use to child proof a house or whatever child proof locks um so they don't like kick on again by my cats so i'm gonna do that i made the peas i put some tahine seasoning on that and my rice is done so i'm gonna serve this up now Okay, so this is done. This is how it looks. Get a taste of it without anything, without no lemon or tartar sauce. There's no sauce on my plate. Mmm. It really came off good. Put some lemon on it. New way to make tuna. Really good. Nice and crispy. Try some tartar sauce. Mm. Try my rice. Mm. Mm. 
rice came out good too. Try the peas. Mm. And like excellent dinner. Peas I got for free. The tuna I got for free. Of course the line Bellamina bought. The rice I bought a long time ago. I already had that in my pantry. I bought that chicken, what do we call it? It was in my pantry. The onion I bought. I would say everything, because I already had most of the stuff in my pantry. The lemon. I was about a dollar something. I already had everything else. So I would say dinner was, that I bought towards this dinner was a dollar. Okay, so. <laughs> so I'm not making a video tomorrow because tomorrow I'm just making quesadillas and we already had case I have made quesadilla videos before so I'm not gonna do that. So I'll see you Friday. Bye. Hello, it is Friday and I'm making some Swedish meatballs. I have some leftover wheat whole pasta that I'm gonna use. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a shell pasta too. So I'm not mixing them together or anything weird like that. I'm just doing two separate pots. Um, I probably will have the wheat and the kids probably have the shell. Should have bought elbow macaroni. I had elbow macaroni, but I used it for my chicken pasta. So it's okay. And then I'm gonna fry up some mushrooms. I do have some meatballs. Let me grab those. So I have these meatballs that I'm gonna use for frozen. I got these from grocery outlet over two weeks ago. They, they were on sale for like three something. I've had this, I think I've got this. Um, they got it from Wankel. Actually, maybe I got it from the dollar store. This was $1.25 and I've got this from Wankel because it says Wankel right on it and I got that about a month ago, maybe longer. Um, I've had this on hand too. Shell pasta, I don't remember where I got that. So those two, three things were in my pantry. I did get the meatballs, the attention making the Swedish meatballs with it. It was on sale though too, so I got it. And I got the mushrooms for free. And I'm gonna saute them on the side because both my kids really don't care for mushrooms that much. So I can't add it to the sauce. I'm gonna get this started. Okay, so I have my meatballs. They're in a pan of water to get them kind of cooked. I didn't want to use oil, and they are frozen. I should have probably took frost in there, but so I'm just gonna let these cook, and then I'll be adding the sauce and everything to it. Once they're done cooking, and I have my two pots going boiling for boiling for the pasta. Oh, lost my glasses. Yeah, so. Got the pots ready for the noodles. We'll add the pasta as soon as the water is ready. Okay, so it said open contents one. I didn't know this was like a two package deal. And put it in a bowl and then open package two and add it to the water and meatballs, which already have water in there because it was sauteing in the water. This is weird. I never, I never seen this before. <laughs> oh, it's like really in there. Let's see if I can get this open. Okay, put that in there. And mix it. So I'm gonna mix this up. Okay, I am adding some more water. So that wasn't enough. Mix this up. And then I'm going to let it cook together for a few minutes and do the next steps. Now, this package mix does cause for homemade meatballs. I might have frozen. So, this is why I did it this way. I'm hoping it works out. It should. I um, mean, you would mix the seasoning to pack into your meat and make it into bowls. I didn't do that, of course, because these are already made. I could have like cooked them and then 
set them out and kind of like add the seasoning and then mix them together maybe and then put them in here, but I'm doing it this way. <laughs> it should still taste good. I hope. <laughs> we'll find out. I'll be honest with you. And then the next time I make it, I know what to do. But make homemade meatballs. So, okay. Okay, so now I added the second pack with some milk. I got one pot of pasta done, the other pot's almost done, and this is ready for this part. Mix that together. If anybody has a homemade recipe for Swedish, Swedish meatballs, please share. I like to make this homemade. Again, if there's any recipes you want me to try making, share them. You know, again, I prefer to what I have on hand, but you don't know what I have on hand because I didn't really show it for a while, but share your recipes and I'll do my best to make them. Okay, so let that cook. These should be done, so I should be trying able to drain those and start my mushrooms. I had a, only three burners right now. This burner's not working for some reason. They're supposed to fix it. So, yeah. Be right back. Okay, so I'm just sauteing the mushrooms. I have to lower the heat on the meatballs. The pasta is done. I'm just going to sauté those. So, I'm thinking maybe I should add a little bit more water to the meatball to make it a little bit more sauce but it's kind of thick so I'm gonna do that so this is what it looks like it is done mushrooms are done pastas are done and I'm gonna serve my kids some bread and butter on the side and clean up some of this mess <laughs> be right back all right so it is done looks like this I forgot to show you what it looked like before I served it again sorry about that Here's the mushrooms. Try this. It's a little hot, so let's try it with the mushrooms. That's good, but I wonder how homemade would taste. Probably even better. This is theirs with the macaroni noodles. So. Okay. Tomorrow we're making, oh yeah. Tomorrow we're making pork enchiladas. So we'll have to use that tomorrow. But I haven't used it for like a week, so that's good. So see you tomorrow. Bye. It is Saturday and I'm going to make pork enchiladas. Now I got this package of pork. It's already cooked, pre-cooked. My father gave this to me. He got this from Commodities. They pass out free food to him once a month at his apartment complex where he lives and he doesn't like pork. So speaking of my father, he just called so it made my phone go off. So sorry about that. But yeah, he got this from the food like uh, food commodities that bring some food. So he doesn't like pork, so he gave it to me, so I'm gonna make pork enchiladas. So I'm gonna get this started. And I'm hoping it's already flavored. I will taste this after it's, I heat it up. That's all I'm doing, because I just wanna make sure it's you know, cooked in, and I'm gonna stick it in my the enchiladas afterwards. But, I think it is flavored. I'm just gonna heat it up and make it more flavorful if I need to. And then do the second process, which is making the enchiladas. So let me get this mixed up. How is the weather where you are from? Leave it in the comments below, please. I would like to know.
where you're from and what's the temperature. Right now it's 103 here in Cal uh, Northern California. So yeah, it is hot. Tomorrow's supposed to be 113. I think we're gonna stay in tomorrow. So the pork is heated up, the carnitas. I'm gonna try to see if it needs anything. Turn it down a little. Hmm. No, it doesn't need anything because it's gonna be in, made with, into enchiladas. I think it's fine. So this is done. I'm gonna start the next process. Sorry, if you can hear my daughter, she's off the hook tonight. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna add the pork to a tortilla. It's kind of a big chunk, so I'm gonna try to cut a little bit down. ten dollars and I'll be using the same stuff again so I just roll it over just like this so I'm gonna keep repeating repeating this process and I'll be back okay now I have a red enchilada sauce I have them all rolled up and stuffed so now I'm just gonna add my enchilada sauce all over And I have some carnitas left, so I'm probably just gonna um, save it. I'm gonna save it and maybe make breakfast with it. We'll see. Cheese all over. There we go. That looks good, so I'm gonna put this in the oven now. gonna take the meat out and put it into a container now because I want to actually make my refried beans into that pan and get some of that flavor in that's left in that pan with the beans so I'll do that too okay it's done looks like that and then I put the refried beans it was Rosarita refried beans into the pan I had the, the pork in and I added some cheese and I actually added some of the juice from the jalapeno so yeah, that's what I did with that. So they served us up. So this is what it looks like. I added some olives. They're just whole. My kids don't like olives, so they're just fine. <laughs> of course, my jalapenos. Took a bite. I have a little sour cream. Dinner. I'll have 
have to make this again. You know, I got that one recipe for the enchiladas with the tomato sauce and the mushroom. Not tomato sauce, but tomato soup and mushroom soup. I didn't have any tomato soup. I was just going to add the tomato soup to the enchilada sauce. To see how that tastes. And I thought I had a can left, but I didn't. Because now I want to make it that way. Not necessarily the mushroom soup, which was good too. But just with the tomato soup and then red enchilada sauce. Just to see how that would taste. This is good. Okay. So tomorrow Sunday, I'm gonna do homemade gravy because I forgot what to buy the gravy for biscuits and gravy. And I'll do that tomorrow from there. Well biscuits are gonna be for dinner tomorrow. I'll make homemade gravy. It's been a long time. I think I have everything for it. So we'll see. See you tomorrow, tomorrow Sunday. Hello, it's Sunday, and I'm making biscuits and gravy. I have this turkey sausage that I bought from Walmart yesterday. And then I have this biscuits that I bought from Food Max about over two weeks ago. I had this on hand already. Baking powder, I'm using the bath. Of course, I already had flour in my pantry. In my pantry. I have some milk that I gotta use up anyways that I bought from mom. Um, I get this from the um, grocery outlet. Yeah, I would need to use up. Um, it was still good. It was good for like three weeks when I bought it. Two, three weeks. Of course, I have pepper. So, the only thing I bought for this was the turkey sausage. Hopefully it'll taste okay for the biscuits and gravy. We'll find out. So I'm gonna make my turkey first, ground that up first, so I can use some of the fat, the fat from that to my homemade gravy. Okay, so let's get this started. Okay, so what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna add the butter. and turn two burgers on and then smell gas for a while and I didn't realize I was smelling gas but it was kind of my sex with the windows open and it turns out it was gas from my kitchen and it was like for 20 minutes I believe I started feeling weird like sick like tired came in the kitchen to get some caffeine that's where I realized hey that's where the smell is coming from it's coming from my stove so I'm putting about uh, I save one fourth in the butter. I'm gonna I'm saving the wrappers now into my butter. I heard a lot of people say, especially YouTubers, other YouTubers I watch, saying that those are good to like grease your pans for like when you bake and stuff. So I'm doing that. Yeah, anyways, back to the knobs. So I got some knobs and they look pretty good. They're child safety knobs, but I call kitty safe knobs so that it doesn't happen again. Cause that's not good, especially if they bump into it while we're asleep and you know, I might not wake up. <laughs> Don't need no carbon monoxide here. And I said I have a carbon monoxide thing, but um, it didn't, it didn't go off, which is weird. So maintenance man's supposed to kind of look at it. I'm just gonna let the butter melt and I'm gonna add my milk and then I'll add the flour. So if the turkey sausage is done, what I'm gonna do when the gravy's done, I'm gonna add it to my pan of the sausage and mix it together so it gets all the flavor together. Then I'm gonna pop the biscuits in the oven. Okay, I'm gonna add about probably about you know, two cups of milk. Let that come together and leave the milk out just in case I need it. Then now the gravy gets too thick. Okay, I'll let that boil for a second. Not really boil, but get it hot. Now it's been a long time since I've made 
homemade country gravy, but I remember using some baking powder, not just flour. So I'm gonna use some baking powder. in my flour container. That's funny. At least I found it. Okay. Fun stuff. This is your mind. So. Put some pepper in here. And just let this continue to cook. Form. A lot of pepper. I don't think I'm going to add salt because the butter wasn't, it said unsalted butter. I looked up a recipe just to kind of see, remember, help me remember what exactly I needed. It didn't say baking powder, it just said flour, but I didn't want to use too much flour because it gets like lumpy. Um, but it said use unsalted butter. I didn't have unsalted butter, so I didn't put salt. Plus, my meat's going to be salty too, so. I didn't mean, salt this. I'll see how it tastes once it starts cooking, thickening up. Go from there. Okay. So gravy looks like that. Tastes pretty good. Doesn't need salt. So I'm gonna mix it into that pan over there now. Okay, this is what it looks like. It tastes really good. The biscuits are in the oven, almost done. So. I'll get this served up pretty soon here. Okay, it is all done. Looks like this. It's good, real good. I don't know why I don't make homemade gravy more often. Country gravy more often. It's cheaper. Well, the packs are only like a dollar and you add water a bit. I had everything here, so it's really, it's really good. It tastes better. I think kind of makes more too. So, yeah, good dinner. Okay, so tomorrow's a new week. I don't know how to make it yet because I've been so bad lately. I'm making my menus. I usually make them Monday, but usually I know at least Saturday what I'm making for the whole week. I need to get back on track again. So. That's it for the week. Stay happy, stay healthy, and stay functional. God bless. Bye.